G'day fellas, so end of the day and did a pretty good job guys. I planted around probably two and a half thousand trees in all those little trays there. So a lot more than what I expected and I'm still only around halfway. So all of these trees is around 20 different species of native Great Southern Area uh, tree species. And I just use the salt shaker there and put all the seeds in all these trays so they haven't been watered yet. And uh, probably in the next couple of days I'll start doing the other seeds. They're going to be hand um, put in the trays and containers, guys, because they're a lot different than these ones. So a lot bigger seeds and so forth. And they've also got to be um, put in boiling hot water. And once that's done, then they can be planted and a few other different ways of doing it too guys as I've said in the previous couple of videos so anyway like I say guys about 6 30 in the evening and I've done a pretty good job pretty exhausted guys but this is a typical average day for me usually from around 9 o'clock to around 7 30 guys I'm always doing something in the garden or scrapping etc so anyway Got a few other things I want to talk about quickly, guys. We'll let Nipper out. Nipper's just about to go and have a bath, hopefully. So, come on, Nipper. Come on. Time for a bath. So, another thing I want to talk about, guys, is using a slop bucket in your kitchen. So, this is my slop bucket, guys. Just my dirty dish water. So a really good idea. I know a lot of you guys haven't really got the opportunity, haven't got a big yard, etc. like mine. Um, but if you do have a big yard or a nice garden, etc. Try and get into the habit of getting, putting, uh, <laughs> recycling all your dish water. I recycle just about all of my water, guys. Uh, but So this water here is just from my dish water. I've got a nice white plastic square tub. It fits perfectly in my kitchen sink. So the reason being, guys, I'll tell you about it. Let's go and empty this water first. Come on, Nipper. Come on. You see this bucket, he might follow me. Go for a swim. Here he comes. Come on. So I'm going to put this in my mandarin tree, guys. I've got about five different fruit trees, olive trees, etc. All right, so we empty this here. Nipper's waiting, he knows. So, all right. Let me not get confused, fellas. I always mumble and stumble my way through these videos. They're always unrehearsed. So, for example, guys, this is an awesome way of controlling your mice as well. The reason being is what I do, guys. If I have got this here's a cracker, cracker burst sausage, if I have something like open up a packet like this, bacon, feta cheese, etc., always in these packages is going to be a little bit of water and obviously a lot of people just chuck that straight in the bin with the water still in it and mice and everything's going to be attracted to that smell guys so usually i just chuck it in there and when i empty it on my mandarin tree or whatever um, i pick up the plastic and it goes in my recycling container so we'll do this and we'll, then we'll keep on talking nipper might go for a swim come on nipper look here he goes and also guys, so one of the reasons I want to talk about this is, <laughs> here he goes, he'll have a bit of a swim probably, all the bugs will float in that water and you'll eat them. And I use a biodegradable detergent as well guys, so he's eating all the little bugs what's floating on the water. So another thing I want to talk about guys is a really good awesome idea about having a slop bucket and also a scrap bucket is just think about all this grease what goes into your plumbing pipes see all that black grease there guys from so that's all slimy grease what goes into your kitchen pipes and all that kind of stuff and eventually you know it could cost you money so that's all grease that is from my plates what I you know if I've got little bits of rice on my plate I'll scrape it in the bucket and so much more <clears throat> and I've also got a scrap bucket too guys for my worm farm compost 
and I will be getting some chickens in the very near future. I'm working on my chicken cage at the moment. I'll show you that in a minute. So if you can, guys, if you've got a yard, you know, put in your little bits of plastic what have got water in them and anything really you know rice little bits of scrape your plate and you know little bits of rice will go in there what don't go into the compost container your scrap bucket so yeah just a good idea guys have a get yourself a slot bucket a container what fits in your sink and empty it into your garden and like i say guys i'll pick up this plastic and it goes in my recycling recycling bin so, but anyway, fellas, have a pretty good day. So I'm just watering my garden at the moment. So just there's about three or four different areas where I put the sprinkler on, fellas. So that area, what you just saw, then this area here for the nice grass growing, and look over here. I've had that on Zoom, fellas. I'm really apologise. And this area, right here. So just about four different areas I put the sprinkler on. And uh, then after that guys, it's time for me to water my veggies. It takes me about an hour to water all my vegetables. It's pretty frustrating guys, because it's exhausting as well. You know, when you're working full on in the garden. And the other day, guys, or probably about six months ago, I found this beautiful palm sugar. And the bees have been eating it. There was some bees on there before, but they're all right down there. Drinking water. And Mary, one of my subscribers, asked me about doing videos on insects and so forth. Mary, I will be doing some beautiful videos on insects and reptiles and so much more in the very near future as soon as I get a new computer, hopefully in the next month or two. Because at the moment I'm just uploading my videos straight to YouTube via my phone because my computer at the moment's totally chock-a-block full of um, all my video files and everything else. So... So anyway, guys, it takes me ages to water my garden, like I say. And uh, I've got a fair, fair few veggies growing right now. And like I say, this is all my summer vegetable patch. And this will be getting all totally rearranged in the very near future, guys. And while I'm doing it, here's my chicken pen, what I'm working on at the moment. Nip is starting to talk, whistle. So that's going to be my new chicken pen, fellas. It's going to look really nice once I finish. I've nearly finished it, but I've got to put a roof on it, fix up the door, and yeah. So I'll probably get I don't know three or four chickens. That'd be perfect for my scraps. I'm unsure yet if they're going to be free-range chickens. Probably not at this stage, guys, because it's a bit too risky with all my beautiful new trees that I'm growing and salads and all that kind of stuff they'll rip them to pieces but I might make a chicken run etc so and also fellas I might as well tell you I'll be the talk of the town again so I don't use my toilet anymore guys I've done videos on this before by recycling your urine and all that kind of stuff so Urine's a perfect fertiliser, fellas. So this is all <laughs> bottles of my own wee, fellas. And that's just maturing away. And that's going to be perfect fertiliser for my vegetable garden. So obviously you mix it with water, certain ratios, and so forth. Another thing, guys. So like I say, I don't use my toilet. So I have a poo in a bucket now, guys. It all goes into my worm farm. I've got some... Two beautiful olive trees too, guys. Didn't show you that before, but look at the size of these beautiful olives. And so, right here, guys. So it's nice and private, fellas. Sit on the bucket here. It will get better eventually, once I get organised. My toilet paper's in that. 
and the sand and also I've got shredded paper and so forth what I just scored out a rubbish dump the other day and it all goes on my worm farm fellas and like I say using heaps of water at the moment fellas we're around 700 litres a day hasn't rained for about two months so during winter I use hardly any water I capture all of the water as much water as I can and that goes towards my watering my winter vegetable garden but during summer I'll recycle all my washing machine water so in here I said in my last video that's half washing machine water and half tap water <coughs> so like I say at the moment because it's summer guys it hasn't rained for two months it's typical um, yeah so I'm using heaps and heaps of water around 500 to 700 litres a day so anyway guys my vegetable garden is looking absolutely beautiful at the moment so is my yard and uh, so I really appreciate you watching guys but you know it's going to take years fellas it's not going to happen overnight it's going to take years for all these beautiful trees to grow and create a beautiful canopy over my yard already I'm noticing the difference in the temperature inside my house just from these beautiful trees here especially that beautiful big fig tree right there guys it's getting bigger and bigger like you sit underneath that tree in a 40 degree 40 degree day guys and underneath the tree is about 25 degrees celsius um but yeah eventually my house over there is going to be completely covered in you know going to have beautiful trees you won't be able to see my house from where i am right now in a few years time so we're getting there guys but like i say it's going to take years and you know there's a growing these trees it's the success rate i've probably got around a 50 percent success rate with a lot of my trees so and those trees that i've just planted today in those um in those trays you know only 50 percent might make it maybe even 25% but I'll be happy if 50% I'm pretty confident we'll get 50% of those trees growing a thousand plus trees so I just got to water these trees every single day fellas and where they're located right now is perfect under this beautiful fig tree because it's nice and shady they need the shade so all right guys Time to start watering my garden, my vegetable garden. Uh, like I say, it takes me about an hour. And yeah, if you want to see my other videos in my garden, I made a big long 45 minute video a couple of videos ago. And like I say, I've got so many trees growing guys, all different species. So they're going really, really well. And all of these guys before I go will be getting planted in places that are really struggling due to land clearing salinity and some of them are getting planted in my yard as well especially up the front of my yard and it's a beautiful thing too guys to grow your own trees and that especially you know when you see them breaking the soil and so much more and when they start to thrive so so this one right here is a beautiful Grevillea. It's going to be a beautiful tree, that one. Pretty sure that's a Grevillea. Beautiful native of the great southern area, what I planted. Sandalwood tree right there with a host. Needs a host. It's a jam tree. And Acacia acuminata. So eventually all these little tiny leaves right there will disappear, guys. And it'll be one big long leaf. So... And beautiful native grasses that's what i really want to learn to grow is native grasses all of these ones here all native grasses from around the great southern area and there's all the seeds and so forth grass seeds and some trees growing there beautiful casuarina trees and etc but anyway fellas i've made a few videos today so i hope you've enjoyed them I hope i've taught you a few tips and like i say in the next few days probably be planting at least another thousand to fifteen hundred trees 
case shears, bank shears, grevilleas, hakeas. If you want to know exactly what I'm planting, guys, check the 45 minute long video. I list every single tree that I'm growing just about. Give or take a few. Alright guys, time to go and move this sprinkler. And uh, yeah, don't forget guys, if you can, get yourself a slop bucket, a scrap bucket and keep your plumbing pipes nice and clean and get rid of all the mice at will okay fellas because just in regards to mice guys since i've been doing this i haven't seen one single mouse inside my house it's pretty amazing i've seen a couple in the yard but not one single mouse inside my house so i try and keep as clean as possible in regards to all my rubbish my waste and so much more thanks guys beautiful dove Message from God, guys. Beautiful, peaceful dove. Or a turtle dove. So many beautiful birds in my yard, fellas. If only you could see it. You can hear them all singing right now. Alright. See you, fellas. Don't forget, the earth is flat and God is real. See you, guys.